Well done, Casey. This is the third time that you and Ali had played. She'd beaten you twice, including at Wimbledon last year. Tricky conditions out here. You got off to a good start. She came back at you. How did you turn this thing around and finish it off in the third set? Yeah, well, it was third time a charm for me last week, so I think third, third time a charm tonight as well. I just had to hang in there, and it was um, very tough from different ends, playing very differently. Um, yeah, but just had to hang in there and try and give myself a chance. Did you make any adjustments? I'm, I'm standing here. Casey Delacqua, your friend, has been telling us on air that the wind is a huge factor in this match, and it sure seemed like it was hard to hold serve on that end. What was it like to play in it? Yeah, it was um, exceptionally hard when the balls were new uh, from this end. And that end, you can't really feel it. But when you come down here, you, it's really behind you. And you think you have to be smart and try and use it. And from the other end, I, I struggled a little bit tonight, but was able to get some of the big holds that I needed. Now you sure did. Now, you're into the quarterfinals. Second straight year. Congratulations. And it's a familiar opponent, same person you played in the quarterfinals last year. She beat you last year, but since then, you've beaten her three straight times. What are going to be the keys for you to keep that streak going in the quarterfinals here? Yeah, I love Petra, but let's hope she doesn't break my heart on Tuesday night, I think, or Tuesday. But, um, yeah, it's been... Um you know, an incredible year for me the last uh, 12 months. It's been amazing. I'm just excited that I get another opportunity uh, in a quarterfinal of a Grand Slam. You, you don't get those every week, so I'm really excited. So that's absolutely true. So there's Casey Delacqua, your friend, and the reason I was late running out here is she's supposed to do the interview. She's supposed to be here interviewing you, and she's like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going out there. Jim, you got to go. She told she's like, Jim, it's your turn. Why is she afraid of you? <laughs> You're not that big. I mean, you're good, but you're not that big. I'm still taller than her. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, look, look at her. She's rugged up over there. I think, um, you know, she's turned into a mother hen. She's just warm and doesn't want to come out here. I felt like I was, a, I was her first child, I think. She had to look after me, and now she's got three at home that, that are flying after she's uh, had the test run with me, I think. <laughs> well, you're definitely treating her like your mom. Um, so, happy Australia Day. It's a special day for you, especially. <laughs> Yesterday, you found out that you were the Young Australian of the Year. Congratulations. How did you find out about it, and what does it mean to you? Yeah, it was a surprise. Pat actually surprised me a couple of days ago, uh, presenting me the trophy, which is really special from uh, the Australian of the Year a, f a few years ago now. But uh, it's extremely humbling. I mean, I've, I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to be um, myself, my authentic self. Um, and that's, that's all I can really do. I'm, I'm just trying to be the best version of me every single day. Well, you were the best version tonight. Congratulations. You're into the quarterfinals. We look forward to seeing you in a couple of days. Ash Barty, ladies and gentlemen.